Come on, little one. Up you come. Oh. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. This video today is a bit of a follow on from my last video where I introduce you to this cute little bundle of fluff Ziggy. If you haven't done so already, I'm going to stick a link in the top right hand corner for you to follow and go check that one out. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my top five reasons why you should consider getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. You ready? You ready? You going to give a couple of reasons too? Yeah? Okay. In at number five, and it's a really obvious one, is how cute they are. They are the most cute dog, in my opinion, on the planet. They have some of the most recognisable features in a dog, starting with their coats. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels come in four different coats. You have ruby, you have black and tan, you have blenheim, and you have tricolour like Ziggy, which is a blend of all three. Added to that is their most expressionate feature, in my opinion, and that's their eyes. Their eyes are, are gorgeous, their eyes are amazing, and they make Cavaliers so expressionate. There's often times when Ziggy cocks his head a little bit and stares at you, and it just melts your heart and you just want to smother him in attention. No matter where we go, Ziggy always, always, always draws attention from other dog walkers, parents and children because of how cute he is. With that makes them a very, very photogenic dog as well, if you can get them to sit still long enough. Number four is a bit of a practical one, is their size. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are quite a small dog. Ziggy himself weighs about seven kilograms, so he's not a heavy big dog. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, because they're so small, can fit in small apartments and big houses. They don't take up much room and they don't need much room to live in. Another great thing about the size of Cavaliers is when it comes to travelling. Compared to big dogs, Cavaliers don't take up much room at all. They're quite content to sit on people's laps, but in our case, when we travel with Ziggy, we put a cover over the back seat and strap him in. He's got loads of space to get comfortable in and he travels like a dream. That means if you're travelling with children or you've got lots of luggage, you still have plenty of space for them, which just makes the whole travelling process so much easier. Because they're only a small breed of dog and aren't exactly the strongest dog in the world, it means that they're very easy to handle. You can carry Ziggy around the house no problem, you can lift him around obstacles if there's danger by just grabbing him and lifting him up. They're very, very easy to move around and manoeuvre. Equally when it comes to walking, because they're not the biggest of dog and they're not the strongest of dog, they're not going to be pulling you down the road. Even when Ziggy is very excited and he knows that he's going to his favourite park and he begins to tug on the lead, there's no danger of us feeling like we're being dragged down the road because he can't generate enough power, which is really good for families who, are, who could potentially have different people walking the dog who might not necessarily be used to how strong they are. Cavaliers, you don't have to worry about. Yes, they can pull. Yes, they have got a bit of power, but not genuinely speaking, not enough to cause a problem. At number three, and this was a big consideration for us when we were looking for a dog, was their temperament. We want to start a family soon. And with that, we wanted a dog that was calm and had a lovely, placid nature. Cavaliers are a very soft tempered dog. They can get excited and they can get bouncy, but no way near in an aggressive manner. Ziggy does get excited and he's very, very playful, but he is far from aggressive. I've never ever seen him act aggressively or react aggressively to humans or other dogs. Yes, they can be a bit vocal, but that's only to protect what they think is theirs. Cavaliers are fantastic with children because of how playful they are, but equally with their soft tempered nature, they're not going to be aggressive dogs to little children like babies and toddlers. In my opinion, they are a fantastic dog to have with families because of how well tempered they are. Number two for me is how intelligent they are. Cavaliers may come across as quite quiet, quite timid dogs who just sit there and look for attention. Don't let that fool you, they are very, very clever. Because of their eagerness to please their humans, they learn very, very quickly. At the beginning when we first got Ziggy, we were wondering how long it would take us to get him house trained. It really didn't take us long at all because 
of just how clever and how intelligent he is, they react to praise so well. So if they've done something very well and you praise them, they instantly learn that the praise is reciprocating when they do that action. So when we were teaching Ziggy how to sit and giving him a treat every time he did it, it just drilled into him very fast. Within a week, it was quite comfortable for us to say sit and he would do it. And that's with treats being removed after a few days. Ziggy was a dream to train in the early stage of when we first got him as a puppy. All of the key commands and the puppy training within a house made life so much easier. Yes, we had accidents at the beginning, but quickly weaned out those very, very fast. Even when we moved house, we thought maybe some of his training might go away where he's stressed and anxious. He didn't at all. We had very few accidents in the house and he went straight back into knowing where to go. And the last, but in my opinion, the most important reason why anyone should consider getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel in at number one is just how loving and affectionate Cavaliers are. Cavaliers are a very, very loving and affectionate breed. Ziggy has filled our lives with so much joy with just how much love he has to give. He always wants to be with his humans. He always wants to be sitting on the sofa, sitting on my lap like he is now and just being with you. What makes him happy and the most happy is being with his humans, being with his special people and making them happy. If he knows that you're happy, he's happy as well. Every time I come back from work, and I've said this in, my, in the previous video, Ziggy always runs to the door to greet you and every day is the same. He's so excited to see his humans. It's the most wonderful feeling to walk home to. They're also an incredibly playful breed of dog and always want to have games and engage with their owners. I love going for walks with Ziggy and playing ball and playing tug of war with him because you can see how much joy that he has from it and the connection between the two of you grows. Ziggy has changed my life in more ways than I could ever imagine. Having time to spend with Ziggy from going with walks on a daily basis, playing games with him, takes a lot of life stresses and strains away for those precious hours that you are with them. He fills my life with so much joy. He fills my wife's life with so much joy. He is the most incredible dog ever. So there you go guys, that's my top five reasons why I think you should consider getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel if you're looking at getting a dog now. I'll always say make sure you do your research because each dog breed has their own considerations that need to be looked into and Cavaliers equally have their own considerations that need to be looked at before jumping in. Always do your research and always look for reputable breeders if you're going down the route of getting a puppy. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button. What would really make my day is if you subscribe while you're there as well and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of more videos as and when I publish them. Ziggy's disappeared. I think he's gone for a little sleep in the kitchen. If you want to see more videos about Ziggy, let me know in the comments. And until next time, see you later.